So hello and welcome to Twin Sins Odyssey, aka Little Big Adventure 2. I'm switching it up on you guys today because I was rummaging around home and I managed to find uh, my old Twin Sins Odyssey CD, so I installed it and uh, copied over my save files. As you can see, they don't transfer uh, over too, too well. For some reason, there's a bit of incompatibility causing random teleporting. Uh, but otherwise they work fine. Uh, notable differences between the two include said save game incompatibilities and the fact that it's missing an easter egg. Uh, which I haven't actually shown off yet because I've been too lazy to actually put in the effort Hello. to make the bonus video properly. Properly. The island of the Francos. The only other thing that's different really- Oh hey, that guy That guy just charged into the water, and you can actually kill those guards that way, especially if you have the protopack, you can just protopack right over the water, and they'll charge charge you just follow, falling straight in. Uh, no special animation for it though, so... Sometimes there's a cutscene for that, sometimes there isn't. Uh, in the past... I've actually not gotten that at all for some reason. No idea what's going on there, but yeah, the only other difference between the two versions is the fact that there's a neat little MIDI remix that I was playing. A pickaxe. Okay! You just bought a pickaxe. Use it to dig or detach rocks and... Uh, it, that, that was the remix that I was playing just uh, at the beginning of this video. Uh, now then, we bought a pickaxe. Why did we buy a pickaxe? Well, as we'll soon see, everyone is digging. You are at the village of the Francos. Digging for what, though? Well... Hello. I'm uh, certain that our fragment's buried here. Obviously, it must be hidden under the grass. I mean, the Burger Master couldn't have buried it under the rock. Am I right? Uh, and I still haven't actually bothered to look up what the heck Burger Master means, but... Hello. Wreckles. A bunch of muckles live in this village. Even the birds are stupid. Especially this owl who came to roost here. He quietly took possession of this niche and now it's his home. And yeah, we're going to be hearing a bit more about that owl. Uh... Hello? Yeah, it's pretty serious, this here story. I better be found this er, fragment, cause no fragment, no ceremony, and no paradise. Bah! I don't even give a hoot. I got myself a vineyard. <laughs> Come on, mister. Just a snort. And, uh, yeah, well, rich people do tend to, uh, snort wine, although they have a bit of more of a, uh, dignified term for it. Hello? You have gotta be crazy to believe all these stories of fragment hunting. Me, I think Roger lost it at home before getting eaten by the monster. What are you gonna do? At least it's good for business. I mean, to fully appreciate the entire palate of a wine, you must, uh, sniff it, give it a good snorting first, and... Sort of mix it with the air. Hello. I will, uh, well, <laughs> I dig here because it's just as good as somewhere else. Everybody, you digs. Why not me? Huh? And why not here? Huh? So yes, but where, where could this mysterious fragment be buried? Um... Hello. Digging the size of the island, its geological structure and wind direction into account, I have concocted a potion which should allow me to precisely determine the location of the fragment. Unfortunately, I uh, uh, lost the vial. <laughs> yes, so we, we also have no idea where the fragment is, but we'll soon find out. And if you, you might have noticed that the music suddenly cut out. And that's because uh, the only other sort of unintentional difference uh, between the two games is that I don't know how to s fix the sound problems, so... Hello? I won't talk. My parents put me here to punish me because I lost the key to our house. It wasn't my fault. That thief of an owl took it from me. That filthy mechanical owl. And it's not a loser like you who's gonna help me. Uh, so I'm actually going to be switching back to uh, Little Big Adventure 2 just after this leaving this Hello. room. 
Because of this lost fragment nonsense, everyone's looking for it, so they leave the little rugrats with me all day long. They just don't stop bawling. I'm gonna look for another job soon. Uh, at this point I run into a bug which caused me to go in an infinite loop between two rooms and it looks pretty cool, but Fraps can't record it. So I sort of thought I got stuck, but haha! Um, so yes, uh, next up we talked to that kid and he told us that there's a key in here. Uh, this thing, that the mechanical owl stole it. So let's check this out. You just found the Franco's Burgmaster's key. Uh, oh yes, and so the, the bug sort of distracted me, but I checked out Wikipedia while I was gone. And <laughs> um, when I said that um, that character back back on Desert Island was the only character with a mustache, uh, I'm sorry, I lied. Uh, this character also has a mustache, but I swear on my mother's grave that hasn't actually been made yet. That, Hello, um, Roger de La Fontaine. He was my brother. He was the local burger master, you know, who was responsible for our fragment. Roger, he kept hiding the fragments somewhere without telling anyone until the accident. Pity, he was eaten by a monster from the gas. So yet yeah, today, oh, no. nobody knows where the heck the fragment is. That's why everyone is digging all over the place. But why didn't he leave it? I don't think so. Anyhow, the closet that he had ornamented with little stuffed monsters from the gas, well, it is locked. Besides, I lost the key. Then... Um, but this, this seriously is the last mustache you'll ever see, I swear. And it is also the last uh, gear, uh, beer, gear, but, gear, but, uh, beer gut. So, uh, if you, if you'd like gear, beer, beer guts, uh, breathe it in, because this is the last you'll be seeing of them. Uh, not sure how sausages can get those, but, uh... You just found the Franco's Bergmaster's notes. They'll help you find the Franco's fragment. Oh yes, and Bergmaster basically means the chief magistrate of a town. It's derived from G the Germanic language. Uh, just a little fact that I looked up. And there's that mechanical owl. And uh, let's uh, let's show the mechanical owl a mechanical penguin. I'm sure they'll get along fine. And yep, a few hearts get released. And that's all there is for that uh, Easter egg. Anywho, uh, let's go ahead and read those notes. Hmm. With my eyes focused on the center of the bazaar, my back is glued to a natural parasol where I'd love to take a nap. But I must keep... A okay, so um, pause the video, look at those uh, that hint, uh, think about the puzzle for a bit. Uh, see if you can figure it out. Um, if you want a little map of the area, then here you go uh, to help you figure things out. And we'll be solving it right now. Uh, hopefully that um, undetermined amount of time that you took, um, you figured it out in. If you didn't, then you're a very boring person. And you should try new things more. Uh, so first of all, the natural parasol is, of course, this tree. Uh, we have to keep in a sportive mood, which, of course, means the sporty um, mood, uh, mood, uh, behavioral mode. Uh, we have to take five steps because, as you can see, there are three lampposts and two arches. So one, two, three, four, five. Uh, here you can see a little fence post and it is pointing in this direction. So we have to move this way down to here and then we dig. And our, our our mag magician suit magically falls off for this animation because they didn't make an animation. Uh, now own the Franco's key fragment. And now it's back on. So, uh, with that key fragment, um, we will, we're one quarter of the way done our fetch quest. Uh, one thing to note is that I actually missed that key fragment for the longest time when I played it as a kid, uh, and it actually caused me to run into one of the more game-breaking bugs, which sort of made me give up on the game for a while. I'll be showing off that bug as well uh, when I get there. Uh, so, sorry about that little cut, uh, something crashed a bit, and I've done so many takes of this that uh, th this episode has refused to be, to be recorded. It's just hated me. 
I, plenty of things have gone wrong, which are mostly my fault. Uh, but, uh, it, it, I digress. Uh, here we are in a little dungeon area. And now, if you noticed at the top left, there was an engineer over there, and uh, if we took too long, if you listen carefully, you can hear it, uh, if we took too long, then he resets those uh, steam geyser things. Uh, so you want to be fast, otherwise you'll get knocked off to your death. Uh, these switches will turn off these two uh, geysers in front of us, but there's no real, real need to. Uh, you can just grab the key easily enough uh, if you use a bit of timing. 